Well, hi there. At some point in time, you have probably seen a picture like this one. This image is often shown when discussing evolution, and it is also the source of many misconceptions about evolution. One of these misconceptions is that this creature is a chimpanzee, and that it is our direct ancestor. It is even very possible that you've been taught explicitly that evolutionary theory says that we evolved from chimpanzees or monkeys or something like that. Well, we didn't evolve from either of these things. Unless you want monkeys to be a monophyletic group, in which case we would not only be the descendants of monkeys, we would still be monkeys. If you're not familiar with monophyletic groups, we have a whole video about them. You can see it here. But the principle that you will really need to understand is how to interpret a phylogenetic tree. Because while this diagram can be highly misleading, this diagram, if properly understood, very well summarizes our current understanding of the evolutionary relationships between humans, chimpanzees, and monkeys. If you don't understand how to interpret phylogenetic diagrams like this, and most people don't, even if they think they do, then I have good news for you, because we have a stellar video about it. Check that out, right there, and come back when you're done. All right, if you're still here, I assume that you understand the information conveyed by this diagram. For starters, I want to point out something very important. Based on this diagram, which represents our current understanding of the evolutionary relationships of primates, we can see that New World monkeys, Old World monkeys, and apes, including humans and chimpanzees, all share ancestors. Old World monkeys are actually more closely related to apes than they are to New World monkeys. This is why, if we want to make a monophyletic group for all of the monkeys, the apes would need to be a part of it. That group is actually called the simians. So they are all simians, and monkey is a paraphyletic group. What we can also see is that New World monkeys, Old World monkeys, humans and chimpanzees all share ancestors. The last time that humans and monkeys shared ancestors was here. And the last time that humans and chimpanzees shared ancestors was here, over five million years ago. The thing is that five million years ago, there were no chimpanzees. Chimpanzees, New World and Old World monkeys exist now. They are not our ancestors any more than we are their ancestors. The oldest evidence we have of modern humans is less than half a million years old. And the oldest chimpanzee fossils are only a bit older than that. When the ancestors of humans and the ancestors of chimpanzees split, there were no humans or chimpanzees. That said, humans are more similar to chimpanzees and bonobos, the closest living relatives of chimpanzees, than they are to any other living group. This is true both anatomically and genetically. In fact, the amount of genetic difference between a mouse and a rat is about 10 times greater than the difference between a human and a chimpanzee. And while there are always other possible explanations for this similarity, one of the most plausible explanations is that we inherited that similarity from our shared ancestors, which weren't humans, chimpanzees, or monkeys. And now you know. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to learn more in the future, Please subscribe and click the little bell, and we hope to see you real soon.